So here we have uh, uh, Freddie uh, who's going to show us uh, IDS FPGA and how it works with Altera. Over to you, Freddie. Um, so hi, uh, here we have a simple design. It's like Ethernet monitoring generator. Uh, here you can see we're using an uh, Avalon bus in this case. This is going to work uh, nicely with Portis that is supporting uh, Avalon bus. So if we go to Portis Prime, you can see uh, scrolling down, we can go to this platform designer. That is where we're going to add our design generated by this. So here in platform design, we can see in our uh, components. Up. We have this uh, block called IDS block here. So heading over to this, we can see in our files that these are the IDS generated files. From here, we can go into signals and interfaces, and we can see how uh, using that Avalon bus that's been generated by IDS, uh, Portis has nicely mapped all those uh, addresses and signals. So we have our uh, bus signals here our clock, our reset, and our output signals all map nicely. So you can see how that is all uh, nicely packaged using this IP packager. So once that's created, we do have our design here. So we can see how we can nicely integrate our IDS generated block. So we connect that in. Uh, we have our clock signals, and we're using the HPS, that hard process system, that is available in uh, this platform designer by Altera. So once that design is uh, fully done, then you can see we have this program open. With the program open, we have a design for platform designer. We've uh, compiled this design, so we can just uh, flash this to the board. So now that this is flashed to the board, we can see uh, slowly now that uh, we're going to have some uh, incrementing LEDs. What this is show is that the design is incrementing as a, as a design and that uh, we have fully interfaced with this uh, DE10 board using the IDSNG uh, generated code with that Altera block, uh, with that uh, uh, Avalon bus that uh, nicely taken by Altera. Takes a while? It takes a while, the clock is slow. Oh, okay. So yeah, it just increments now because we're it's th it's thirty two bits, but we're taking the upper two bits of the mm. of the design just to show that it it is incrementing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did it catch you? Guess it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, that, that's just for the. <laughs> So we can see, yeah, it is, it is integrating. It's taking uh, we map these two LEDs just at the top two uh, upper bits of our 32-bit register just to see uh, that design is flowing and is running in the background. It's blinking. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. Thank you.